What made you decide to share your PA journey on Instagram and through blogging? Uh, so I kind of mentioned this before, how I found it super helpful to reach out to PAs um, through Instagram, especially if you don't know a lot of um, current PA students in person. That's a great way to meet uh, other students and colleagues and working PAs is through Instagram. And I find everyone on there is on there because they want to help, they want to share their journey. Um, so it's the right group of people to be reaching out to, I think. Uh, and I, I liked the idea, I found it helpful. I also kind of noticed that there, most of the students I was talking to were American PAs. And since the profession is growing in Canada, I thought it would be great to spotlight us a bit more and get us kind of into that social media community and say, you know, Canada has PAs too and we're here. So yeah, I just really wanted to uh, spotlight my journey through Instagram that way. And what kinds of questions are you answering? Um, I think a lot of it is about admissions. Uh, how can I become more competitive? How is this GPA competitive? Uh, what kind of tips do you have for personal uh, statements of intent? Um, also a lot of what the program's like, um, what you're learning, what rotations are like, how it works, and stuff like that. A lot of application questions. Yeah. And what kind of feedback have you been getting from just your followers? Uh, I think. I think they like being able to see uh, what kind of being a PA student is like and what the lifestyle is like, how heavy the workload is. Um, and I know when I was um, pre-PA as well, it was really interesting just to see what people are learning and what their classes are like and you know the topics they're learning about. It's, it's just really interesting, so I find um, people appreciate that part of it too. And Instagram is growing in terms of sort of that younger mm -hmm. demographic of healthcare professionals. Any tips for PA students looking to start an Instagram? I think it was important that to create a page that is separate than your personal page, just to keep it a bit more kind of specific to what you want to post about. So I had made this one specific for PA related stuff. Uh, I think that was a really good decision as well. And I think also to just go for it and not be afraid um, of being judged or to put yourself out there. I know that still gets me sometimes. I'm like, oh, people are gonna, you know, think differently about what I'm saying than how I mean it. And but I think you sh you just gotta go for it and only look at the positive sides. So how do you balance staying professional and being vulnerable on social media? Um, a lot of times before I'm posting, I'm kind of thinking if my future employers saw this or my colleagues or program staff. Is it something I'd be okay with them seeing? And if the answer is no, that's probably not something I'd want to post anyways. Uh, so I think that's a good kind of guideline to go by in terms of staying professional. Um, and in being vulnerable on there, I know it's hard when you're having a bad day. The last thing you want to do is go on you know, social media and post about how good everything is going. So I think I have to work on that and being a little bit more transparent that not every day is a, a perfect day and everything's so happy, but yeah, I know that we have to be very intentional with what we expose ourselves to on social media. Yeah. So how do we stay out of that trap of comparing ourselves and it's getting It's very hard. Impressed? Yeah, it. definitely. Um, it's hard comparing yourselves for sure. So even in the classroom, uh, it's hard to compare yourself or not to compare yourself to your classmates. I think uh, if people are um, answering questions that you don't know and you're like, I should have known that, we learned about that. Um, but on social media, you kind of don't see, I guess, everyone's bad days and everyone's struggles. So you're thinking, you know, you're kind of the only person struggling sometimes uh, when it's not always true. So it's good to keep that in mind that social media is just kind of a highlight reel sometimes. Mm -hmm.